are you doing? This is Chris from ChristopherJ.net and this is my lesson DB12 on left hand form and fingering things. Um, it's a quick video to just cover a few things that I've learned about left hand issues um, that helped me and hopefully they'll help you too. Um, one of them is when you play finger the notes up on your fingertips as much as you can. Um, try not to use the, the flat part of your finger and the reason for that is, unlike the, uh, the electric bass or a guitar or a fretted instrument, uh, there's no frets on the double bass, so it relies totally on the pressure you apply with your fingertip to get the string to vibrate properly and to get the kind of tone that you want. Um, and if you finger with your fingertip, more of your uh, the bone of your finger presses down on the string than if you use the flat side of your finger. And I suppose it also helps with speed, although I'm not real fast yet, um, and maneuverability in case you need to slide around and shift. Um, so that's one thing. Um, the next thing is on the, uh, the spacing that you need to have between your fingers. Because of the size of the, the double bass, the notes are farther apart physically on the neck than they are on a smaller instrument. And so unless you have really huge hands, like you're a basketball player or something, uh, practically all you can cover without shifting uh, are three semitones on the neck. So if you are if you start on the A, A note on the G string, you theoretically can only go up to a B on that same string. And uh, an illustration that I saw when I was starting out that was kind of helpful was to place a, uh, a rosin container between your uh, first and second finger. So as long as it's not too huge, <coughs> excuse me, um, that will work and you can put it there. And of course you're not going to want to play like this for the rest of your life, but this just helps you to, uh, uh, for your fingers to remember the basic shape that you need to have. So. As you can see, it spreads your first finger and your second finger apart just enough to play the two separate notes. So A, A sharp, and then because of uh, your ring finger in the middle, your fourth finger ends up about where it needs to be for the third semitone. So hopefully that helps you. And what's next? Um, Oh, your thumb position. So, if you uh, if you just hold your hand naturally, your thumb comes across to about where your second finger is, and that's about where I think it should be on the neck of the bass. Um, let's see if I can show you this. So, like that. You don't want to grab it like a baseball bat, right? Otherwise, you're going to be stuck and you can't move around and you won't be able to play on your fingertips like you should. So, you should have your thumb about like that and about opposite your second finger. Um, what else? Oh, try to keep your wrist straight. Uh, if you have your wrist bent at a right angle, you know, like that, that's not good. Uh, and if you play for a long time with your wrist bent like that, your nerves are going to rub through the little bony openings in your wrist, and you'll end up with a thing called carpal tunnel syndrome, which is not something that you want to have. So try to keep your wrist as straight as possible as you play, and um, as you move over to the lower strings, um, you may need to shift your body around a little bit because uh, it naturally wants to bend, so just be aware of that. And, um, is there anything else? Oh, I guess, yeah. If you have your bass angled backwards a little bit, you really don't have to work as hard because the weight from your arm is going to pull down on your fingers. And, so, Mother Nature, or gravity, will do a lot of the work for you. You know, if you've got it straight up and down, then you have to squeeze a lot harder um, with your muscles to apply the same amount of pressure. 
but if you let gravity do its work, then you're going to be back here like this. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and please like this video and become a subscriber, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.